What's next for you to you? How do you feel? What's going in your mind right now? Well, I tell you what, um, we're just a few, well, not even a few hours, but it feels like a few hours, but it's about 24 hours away from launching the first Valor bare knuckle event. And uh, I tell you, after we did the, uh, the official weigh-ins today, uh, my excitement went way up because everybody was on weight. Uh, these fighters looked tremendously ready to go. I mean, the look in their eyes, uh, the, the shape that they're in, um, I think we're in for a heck of a night, man. Well, I tell you what, being a promoter, and uh, I tell you, as a fighter, man, all I got to do is just, like, make sure I made weight and, uh, and train and was something I was used to. Now being a promoter, it's just a whole, almost have a, di a different vision on it, but I, it's, but I don't have a problem with that because it feel, I feel like that I just, I want to share that love that I had, right? As a promoter, when I was fighting, I fell in love with this bare knuckle thing. And now I could turn around and I'm gonna share that same love that I had in that bare knuckle arena. As a promoter, I get to share it with all these other fighters and fans in what I fell in love with, which was bare knuckles. So um, really that's all it's about, me being a promoter, is just sharing that, being able to pass it on and, uh, and be able to see the look in these guys' eyes when they step in there and get ready to fight. I know it's gonna make me just be jacked up because I know what I felt. So just being able to watch that as a promoter uh, is exciting why I'm uh, choosing bare knuckle over MMA is because I fell in love with it. I mean, literally when I first walked into that cage, you know, so many years ago and I saw Gerard Godot knock out this sumo guy and I just went, wow, man, this is really gonna happen. And I remember I got in and fought and I was, it was bare knuckle, mano a mano, God given talent. And I thought to myself, now this is the ultimate in fighting. I mean, when you talk about combat sports, you can't go any higher in combat sports than when bare knuckle. And for me, um, that's, re I mean, that's why I'm doing it, is because I fell in love with it. And I, and I think that it's, it's now, because we've seen all the, the MMA stuff, we've seen how far it can go. And I think now is a time for change. People want to see something new. And I'm bringing back literally what they originally fell in love with. They didn't fall in love with all the other stuff that surrounded that no holes barred. They fell in love with the idea that it was bare knuckle. That's what they fell in love with. I mean, I can remember back in the day when we were fighting and people were screaming, stand them up, stand them up. Well, we're going to stand them up and we're going to give the fans what they wanted. We're going to give the fighters what they want. And we're going to put on one hell of a show on the 21st in 24 hours. Bare Knuckle is its own beast. Bare Knuckle, in my opinion, stands alone. And when you talk about fighters coming from MMA or fighters coming from boxing or maybe just a straight up street fighter, it's a different beast, man. You cannot take MMA and go, well, I'm going to be successful in bare knuckle because I fought in MMA. It don't work like that. And same with boxing. It don't work like that. It is a different type of event. And you have to train in bare knuckle in order to be successful at it. And so I'm really looking at which one of these guys are going to transfer into this bare knuckle the easiest. I mean, from what I can see right now, we've got two guys in our, in our, in our fight that have some experience. And you got Mark Garbeer and I believe James McSweeney. They have some experience. Is that an advantage? So these are things I'm looking at. Does 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 Ishi Smith uh, think about like, okay, I'm a boxer, but now I have to train this bare knuckle, it's a different thing. So do I have to train differently or can I train differently or how do I train differently to be able to use my skill sets to be successful in bare knuckle? Or, you know, when you talk about Esteban Payne, I mean, he's a, he's a brawler. Um, does he come out and just go street fighting and just start tearing it up? To me, these are all interesting concepts of these guys fighting. Can these guys take what they've already learned in the disciplines that, that we're involved with and bring it into bare knuckle and be successful? Yeah, I tell you, the pit is different. You know, it's something that, um, you know, when I looked at it and I started putting this thing together and designing it, I wanted it to make sure that one thing that I thought of when I was doing this was that I always heard the fans say when they had the best seats in the house, man, I can't see around the rope or I can't see through the fence or like is my vision's not And they've got this, you got seats on the floor and they're not necessarily the best seats in the house because of some of the visual impediments they have. So in my mind, I was thinking, well, why don't we try to build something where there's no visual impediment so that people that get those those seats on the floor literally have the best seats in the house because now they have visual they can see inside there with nothing in their way and also to be able to have the fighters when it comes to the fighting part of it they can't lay on the ropes 
They can't play the outside. They got to stay in the center and fight because if they start going backwards, there's nothing for them to lean on. There's nowhere to run. And if you go out of bounds, you're going to get a point deducted. You cannot flight. You got to fight. But um, I'm not going to fight, man. You know, I mean, I did that. I've been there. I don't know how much more I can do. My whole position now is to be able to share that love and that dream with the fighters, giving them the opportunities to follow their dreams and be successful in, in what they want to do and then be able to give fans what they've always wanted. Stand them up. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'm doing that. I enjoy uh, wrestling and, and, uh, and making a comeback there because I love entertaining. I really do. I love being in front of the fans, and, and I love the excitement. And I also like being athletic. I um, mean, pro wrestling gives me that opportunity to be athletic, not take too much damage. Well, <laughs> we say that, and then I get thrown off a 10-foot table. <laughs> but uh, but it, it's fun, and I enjoy it. So I'll continue to keep doing that as long as I have time to do it. And, uh, and I will definitely be um, looking for... I believe that there's a lot of tough guys in that industry, in the pro wrestling industry, and I'll be looking for guys that maybe want to come in and do Valor Bare Knuckle. Well, yeah, we're not, like I said, we're not one and done. Um, we have plans to do some in the future. Um, when that is, uh, we're going to get this first fight under our belt, and we're going to sit back and kind of um, see what we did good, see what we done bad, see what we can improve on, uh, bring the team together and have some suggestions on, on where we go from here. Yeah, I just want to say, you know, the 21st, uh, Valor Bare Knuckle, and it's at Four Bears Casino, a pay-per-view, all the pay-per-view networks. You can get on there and get that. And if you have your phone, you're not at home and you want to stream it, go to Fight TV, you can get it on there. But listen, history's being made. Where are you going to be when it is made? <laughs> <laughs>